Hello, Lucas here, back with another video. Today is another LEGO Marvel Superhero set. It is the LEGO Avengers Infinity War Source Weapon, Weapon Quest. It has three main figures. We got Groot, Rocky, Raccoon, and Thor. So I first want to start off with Groot because he's the exclusive minifigure set. Definitely a really good minifigure. Doesn't really require light printing on his head. It is a special molded head, which you can see right there. And there's a slightly different face expression with the one in the poly bag. Not too much detailing on the torso, but that's okay, since he really just needs true detailing. detailing. Um, looks a bit weird without like putting the crew, just added like brown wrinkles or maybe like green stuff all over, but that's okay, and that's it for Groot. Next we have this I Am Groot, his dad, um, what, based off what the director said of um, the end of Infinity War, where he said I Am Groot before he turned to dust. Pretty sure if you guys you guys have seen Infinity War already, but uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the same as the one from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two Ravager Attack Set. Um, and but I'm still glad because it's rare, and I just kind of wish I'm glad they updated the mouth though, which because before you just have a mold mouth on there, but now it has it printed, and then his tail is pretty ugly. I'm not saying like it looks ugly. It does. The only thing that looks ugly about it is the middle area where it has some gray there. Like I kind of wish they made it in a blue, which is super annoying. But other than that, this figure is just about perfect. Um, just needed some improvements on the tail piece, but that's a for good. And finally, we have Thor, which is the same as the one from Thor Ragnarok sets, um, where he has the pretty cool hair and has a lightning face and then on the back has him with kind of his normal expression and then he has pretty cool detailings on the torso which you see there and that's it for Thor so here's the build which is Thor's weapon pod so for the build which is Thor's weapon pod first off has some two stud shooters there and it actually can connect to the other set, I believe it was Thanos Ultimate Battle. Um, we have some pretty cool detailings on it. It actually connects on this thing here in the back. And then actually has a pretty cool cockpit design to it. And you can lift this up. And you have space to put all three minifigures, surprisingly. So you can put these all back, put this forward, but and you can close it up. So you can put your Rocket Raccoon minifigure in there. Which... Bit challenging um, because um, he has short legs, but I'm glad that there's space for all three. So it's it's really nice and how they use four studs to put them. And you can put Groot in that middle area there. And then you can see you can fit all the guys in there, and then just close it up this rooftop area just that easily. And then yeah, nothing too interesting for the rest of the build. I like how they use the dome piece as they call it. Nothing too interesting on the underside. That's it for the builds of the set. Now, um, let's show how this connects to the Benatar. All right, so here are the two sets, and here's how it connects. It connects to this back part right here, and then all you gotta do with the Benatar is you flip it off to the side, leave these things open, lift up this roof, you attach it to the Technic holes on the back. Please don't fall. Sorry about the little cut there, because I knocked over the tripod. You just connect it to the Technic pins on the back, and it will securely go on there, as you can see. And you push these pieces down, and it will go on those studs. Lock it. You can put this. And finally, put this rooftop piece up top, and then it makes the Benatar look much more and much more complete. And I'm glad that it made this a separate set, because I understand they... This set would be way more expensive if they included the pod in it, but it looks it looks much more complete this way with the ben with the pod on the Benatar ship. But that is it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more Marvel superhero set reviews, leave me a comment down below. That's it. Bye.